Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. You know, it's the boy Anime King, and today I'm going to be giving you What If Deku Was a Villain Part 12. Yes, guys, we reach up to part 12. You guys can just swipe across and go to the playlist. I create that playlist for all of my What If, so you guys don't need to scroll up and check them out. Just swipe across and see all of them here in one spot. So go and check out the playlist guys, but today we're going to do in part 12 of what if Deck was a villain. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. If a new subscriber, comment down below, tell me. I'll be replying to everyone still. Yeah. So remember to share this on your all your social media platform. And without further ado, let's get straight into what if. Start the intro. So, the last time, Deku and Bakugo had an epic battle. Yes, Deku and Bakugo had an epic battle. The two of them was fighting and yeah, they were in the forest. Bakugo has just received all my power. Yes, he has just received all my power and all for one has magnified because all my then, yeah, all for one has to join up for like uh, some split second because they have to join up because Deku got so out out of control and overpowered that he wants to kill everyone. So the battle rages on with Deku and Bakugo ending no one winning. Yes, till all of the students arrived. Deku was weak yeah because he used up almost energy. So they yeah Deku decided to flee. So what happened? The two year gap happened and Deku ended up rebuilding the Eve Empire by himself. Yeah, he constructed young villains, yeah, and Bakugo with the big tree and Uraka and some Shota and the rest of them. They are still in the school and yeah, they're like pro heroes now. They're yeah, because most of the heroes are dead and two year gap happened. They're young but they're still big. So Deku is living with the villains now and they have everything they could ever want because they rob places and those things. They take anything and sometimes they get caught by like the, like the heroes but sometimes they escape. Sometimes they get locked up in prison and that makes Deku even madder when his friends get locked up in prison. So Deku and the girl, I don't remember her name, yeah, the girl that loves to stab people with her knife and she's kind of crazy. Yeah, I want to see your blood. Yeah, she and Deku got together over the two year gap and they have a kid. So they have a kid. Yeah, and he's very young, like months. Yeah, he's not even one yet. So his power, yeah. He's going to be born with Deku's same power, the strength and the, yeah, the shock resistance. So he's going to have like the same type boost too. The more he fights in that epic battle, the stronger he gets. So Deku is just buying his time because he overheard the big trio, yeah, the big trio and Bakugo and he know that that Mario guy, Deku has his intel on his quirks. So he don't want to like do anything rash and get his friend caught and don't want to have to go out of his way to like do anything rash. So, and plus he has a kid now so he wants, he's just going to buy his time till he's ready to like destroy the school. So over that time too, yeah, Bakugo and Uraka, those two got together. Yeah, surprising, Bakugo and Uraka got together, but they didn't have a kid yet. Some more time skipping going to happen. This is just the base at it, guys. So we're going to be skipping time again. Skip time to 18 years. Yes, 18 years, a time gap to 18 years where, the, where Bakugo had a kid with Uraka over time and he's now 15. But Deku kid is 18. So 
the 15 year old boy he would have the quirks he would have a he would have the strength of all might that was passed down by Bakugo. he would have he would be born with it but Bakugo still has his quirk but his kid will have it too and he will have his mom quirk to yeah to like levitate things yeah so with zero gravity yeah that kid will be powerful too and yeah I'm gonna say Deku Kid has Deku Quirk with the shock resistance and the strength and the more he fights the more stronger he gets. So we go growing up he's getting strong and strong. Deku is training him out to get stronger till yeah Deku finally said you're of age now. It's time. Deku said this is the perfect time. This is the time we've all been waiting for. This is time we control the world. So Deku was gonna hit you a hard. He was gonna hit you away and try to over yeah like he's gonna destroy everything in UA. So just gonna destroy everything in UA and when they kill all the heroes, the pro heroes and everything, they will be the boss. And Deku grow his kid to be ruthless and a fiend, a monster. Yes, he grows his kid to be heartless. And Deku is well over the age, like in his thirties, yeah, because he was older than 15 and 18 years. Yeah, Bakugo and Deku is in over their thirties. Yeah. No one is like in their 50s yet, but Bakugo and Deku, Shoto and the rest of them, they're in their thirties. Yeah. So, right now, Deku's, they, Deku will do their plan and strategize how to hit you away. Because if they take down all the heroes, yeah, the symbol of peace was still residing in the school. Yes, the symbol of peace, even though Deku killed All Might, the symbol of peace was residing in the school because people still have hope that the pro heroes and everybody in school could save them. So, one early morning, early, early in the morning, Deku decided to hit you away hard. Yes, early in the morning. Deku was like, he bring an army with him. Yes, an army and one of the students inside UA was in their classroom until they look out the window and spot the army they rushed to the front of the class telling the teacher the teacher rushed to the like the dining like the hall where all the pro heroes are back go everyone in there yeah and back go kid yeah back go kid is in the class too so the teacher rushed out there and said hey everyone they're coming so back said now why now and Everybody went outside and they saw it's Deku and Deku said, huh, Bakugo, you have age. And, and Bakugo said, you have age too, Deku. And Deku said, you're asking yourself, why now? Why would I attack the school now? And Deku said, I'm just going to show everyone. Yeah, when I take you down in broad daylight and take down this school, I'll be controlling, not just this school. I'll be controlling the world. Everyone in the world has to pay tax from now on. Yes. They have to pay tax. And they have to do everything I say. When I take him over. And then Bakugo looks up and says, who is that? Because he looks at the kid right at Deku. Feet like the kid is near to Deku. And he is not much older. Yeah, he's 18. But he don't look that like old. So, and Deku saw Bakugo looking at his kid and said, oh, this. It's my son. Oh yeah, he's strong too. Nearly as strong as me. So I bet he could take you on. And yeah, we're gonna rule this place. So I'm gonna give you guys a chance. Just lay down your weapons and lay down your lives. And I'll spare the kids. And Baka said, How dare you? You come in here after what you did so long ago. Tell not to lay down her lives and you spare the kids. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. And Bakugo's skin, yes, his skin started to, like the veins in his body started to turn red. Yes, the power of all might. Yeah, and plus his fire explosion quirk igniting everything in his body. And Bakugo's just exploded in rage. Bakugo moves so fast, push off so fast, he grabs Deku and flings Deku way back, yes, into a wall. Yes, he flings Deku right into a wall. And Deku, Deku, when Deku regained his senses, Deku said, go, attack, and tell all of his villain's friends to attack. 
So Bucker stand, stand right in front of Deco right now and Bucker said look how far you've gone. Those are kids in there. You really want to kill kids and Deco looks at him and said Bucker let me tell you something. I don't care who I kill as long as I get what I want. And the two of them head on and start to punch each other. So right now um Bakugo son yes Bakugo's son he was like everybody else was rushing the kids to a safe place and Bakugo's son got out of there and he went outside and he saw yes he was Deku's son but he didn't know that he was him so the two of them started a fight yeah because he's a villain and he's a hero so the two of them started to fight and the battle raged on yes it was like their dads their poor were equal because yeah, Deku's son, yeah, he's strong, but he hasn't been in a real fight like like getting beaten to a pulp. Even though Deku fight him and train him, Deku doesn't beat him to a pulp for him to get experience. But Bakugo's son has been training like with other heroes and fighting techniques and those things. So two of them are fighting and Bakugo's son looks at him and says, who are you? And he said, oh, that's the guy over there. That's my dad. And Deku said, Deku looked back and said, yes, son, destroy him. And then Bakugo's son said, huh, your dad is fighting my dad. So, guess that means we're sore enemies. So, two of them head off again and start to hit their fists together and punch together. While it's going on, all the other heroes here yeah, and villains are fighting. And the heroes right now, they're not holding back. Bakugo told them a long time ago, if they're ever fighting, do not hold back against villains because these villains Deku changed them yes Deku has made them ruthless and heartless so they enjoy killing they will kill you in a split second if you don't yeah end their life first so right now Deku and Baku are fighting punching hitting their fists together as hard as they can they're creating ripple effect yeah until someone screamed out a pro hero kill Deku girl, yes. The girl that crazy chick with a knife. She was killed by a pro hero. Because she was going after one of the kids and a pro hero went up to her and like blasted her in the face or something, totally killing her on the spot. Deku saw her dying body on the ground. And Baka looks at Deku and stepped back a little bit. Deku would like use his hands to lift himself off of the wall. Deku hands sink inside the wall because the force of his hands is so strong. It end up tearing down a building. Yes, Deku end up just pushing down a building because the force. Deku is in a total different state of mind. Even though he acts that tough, yeah, he still that is that is mother of his child. And Deku erupts. Deku eyes just change color. Yes, for some reason his eyes change color to total black. Something is wrong. He's not even speaking. And Deku is walking up to Bakugo. And Bakugo is sweating because he's sensing something. It's just behind Deku. Pure death. But guys, I'm gonna end right here. If you want to see part 13 of this and know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on that bell notification, stay posted. And if you're a true subscriber, I'm gonna say if you're a true subscriber, comment this word down below for me. Yes, if you're a true sub subscriber, comment this word down below for me. I'm gonna say if you watch this in anime. Yes, comment anime down, down below for me, guys. Okay, guys. So, I'll see you in the next part. Peace.